Hey everyone, this is Cody, and today on Astro Blender we're going to be doing part two of two on the beginner series on how to get your Celestron computerized mount and hand control communicating with your computer. Now today we're specifically going to be focusing on ASCOM, what it is, how to download and install it, and then the Celestron CPWI program that we download and installed last time. So with that being said, let's jump right into it. Alright, so what is ASCOM exactly? Well, I'm not going to go into a deep history about it, but it's basically a place where you can control all your equipment and gear in one central location. So in the past, you may have had a motor focuser and that plugs into your computer. You may have had an auto guider that plugs into your computer, a camera, a mount, maybe a filter wheel. Uh, there's so many accessories that can go into a computer, but there's only a limited amount of slots to plug in, right? And I mean, that is a lot to run. And also in the past, you know, if you have all that in your computer, usually each one is controlled by an individual program. So you've got five or six programs running, and it's just hard to keep track of it all. So what's really neat about ASCOM is it's a way to take all of that and stuff it into one centralized location and allow your computer to communicate with all of it simultaneously. So Basically, if you run an imaging program nowadays, if you have ASCOM, which if you're doing astrophotography, ASCOM is almost essential nowadays. But anyway, if you're running an imaging program, you can control your filter wheel, your uh, motorized focuser, your camera, your auto guider. You can control pretty much everything through your computer, which is really, really cool, especially if you can do it all in one program. Uh, there's also ASCOM compliant observatories and domes and things like that. So it's just a really neat way to give yourself control of multiple things without all the complexity, basically. So the Celestron CPWI program uses ASCOM, so you can control your focus motor from there and other things from there. And so I'm going to show you how to download and in install ASCOM now and then open it up in the CPWI program that we downloaded in part one. Okay, so let's go ahead and download and install ASCOM. So just open up your favorite internet browser. Go to the web address www.ascom-standards.org. Okay, so here we go. If you're wondering why I did not go into the history of ASCOM, well, it's because this page is loaded with so much information. You have a video from Dylan O'Donnell, you have about ASCOM, you have multiple tabs here to learn more about it. So there's just so much information on ASCOM, and it has a great community. It's very well supported. So if you want to read into it a little bit more before you download it, you certainly can. Uh, but I'm just going to come over here to the right and hit download and save file. It's going to complete downloading. Okay, there we go. It's done. It's executable. So I'm just going to click on it. And we're going to let it run here. Okay, so the installation wizard is going. And now I'm going to get an error, and I'm purposely doing this, so if you get the, the same error, you'll know how to fix it. Okay, so here it is. Here's the installer, and it says, hey, before you can install this, you need Microsoft.NET Framework 3.5 Service Pack 1 uh, basically enabled. So what you're going to do is if you, get this, if, if you get this error, you're going to come down to the control panel. So you're going to type in control panel. You're going to open that up. You're going to go to Programs and then turn Windows features on or off. That's going to bring up a little box here. Now here it is, .NET Framework 3.5. All you need to do is check that box and hit OK. And it might download some files and, and do its thing, but once you're done doing that, so let, let Windows update download the files for you. Yep, so we're going to have Windows download these files, and then once you're done, then you're good to go with the ASCOM installation. Now, if you don't get that error, then obviously just install it. <laughs> okay, applying changes now. All right, Windows completed the requested changes. So I'm just gonna close that, close the control panel now, and now I'm good to go to install ASCOM. Now I should note that 
probably only older computers are going to get that error. If you have a, a newer computer that you keep relatively up to date, uh, you should be fine to just install it like normal. Okay, there we go. So when you're done installing Ascom, you do need to reboot your computer. So you just check this box and go ahead and reboot. All right, so with the computer restarted, the Ascom installation is complete. You can see that was pretty simple. So now I'm just going to click on CPWI, which is the Celestron program that we downloaded and installed in part one and let this load up. So click start here. And you'll see it's prompting me to connect. So you have three options, the mount USB, hand controller, or Wi-Fi. I'm connected through the hand controller right now. I'm plugged into my advanced VX hand controller, and that has my uh, focuser on it. Notice it found my focuser right away. It's searching for StarSense. I don't have my StarSense connected right now, but you can see just how easy ASCOM makes things. It's just connecting everything on its own with only one cable going into my computer, the cable from the hand controller. So my computer doesn't have a GPS in it or anything like that. I'm just gonna exit out of here and uh, not do the alignment right now since I'm just demonstrating here and it wasn't really accurate anyway, but not, yeah. So if I go up to focuser, move in, move out, control panel, calibration. So I click calibration, begin. And now my focuser is calibrating. So this is really the beauty of ASCOM. My focuser is just about done calibrating right now, and it's not directly connected to the computer. It's getting all its information through the hand controller, which is connected to the computer through ASCOM. Uh, you can also even use the Celestron Wi-Fi module. So if you want to control everything through Wi-Fi, you can do that. So that really is where the beauty of ASCOM lies, is you can control multiple accessories all through one location. So this program itself is really clean and simple. I mean, if you have a StarSense connected through ASCOM, you're going to run your, your alignment routine automatically through your computer. It's just so easy. Uh, I think nowadays, too, products should come with an ASCOM driver. If they don't, it's really weird because ASCOM is so popular and it's so useful. So if you get into astrophotography and you download like a, a camera program or something like that, you can run pretty much every, every accessory you have through it through ASCOM. So yeah, really handy. All right, so now that you got all your cables, your software download installed, and everything's connected and ready to go, I thought I'd give you a little demonstration on what ASCOM can do in CPWI. So I actually don't even have a Celestron hand controller attached to this CGX mount right now. I'm using the Celestron Wi-Fi portal. So uh, yeah, let's move the mount here. Uh, let's go the other way. So at the click of the button, just move in the mount. Can move it in one direction if I need to. Or, you know, hey, what if my object moved out of focus? What if I need to change my focuser position? I can do that too. So that right there is the power of ASCOM. All right, well, that wraps up this little two-part series on how to connect your Celestron computerized mount to your computer and get everything communicating and talking together. You can see it's pretty simple to do, and ASCOM is pretty amazing. It gives you a lot more flexibility and control over your telescope and is just really neat and fun to play around with. So again, I hope that you found this video helpful. Thanks so much for watching, and as always, clear skies.